Hello everyone and welcome to day four aboard Anthem of the Seas. We are just a few hours from our arrival in Nassau, Bahamas, and currently we're just passing by Coco Cay off in the distance. We'll be arriving at Coco Cay tomorrow, but for now, let's get some breakfast. We decided to go with room service this morning, which is an $8 surcharge regardless of how much you order. We received a lot more than we anticipated, but it was all very good. Trivia right. time. Goes like this. What is Australia's main fruit crop? One more time. What is Australia's main fruit crop? Okay, trivia is complete. And well, I don't know who won. <laughs> Nobody. We didn't do good. <laughs> Again. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, so we've decided to just do a simple little excursion in NASA. We are just going to do a walking tour and yeah, that's about it. And then we'll see what else we get up to. We've got about another hour before we arrive. So yeah, we're going to grab a coffee and go from there. Here at La Pastorie, you can get specialty coffees, including Starbucks and desserts, but this is not an included food option. There is a surcharge. This area on deck five, heading toward the aft, has Jamie's Italian and the wine bar Vintages. location a few times on the sailing, but 270 offers some of the best views from inside the ship. It's a great quiet place to go to enjoy a coffee when there's no scheduled activities here. Just outside of 270, you'll find the next cruise location where you can look into future cruises with Royal Caribbean. And as you make your way in this direction, you'll come back to Jamie's Italian. And as you keep going, you'll find yourself back to the Esplanade. not familiar with the Esplanade on Quantum class ships. This really is the hub of the ship where you'll find shops, services, restaurants, shore excursion desk, and a whole lot more. On other Royal Caribbean ships, it's referred to as the Promenade. Okay, it is about 1 p.m. and we are just about to dock in Nassau, Bahamas. The cruise port here in Nassau has been under extensive redevelopment throughout most of the pandemic, but the construction is expected to be completed soon with some great upgrades. As we're docking here in Nassau, Bahamas, we have Carnival Legend next to us. some of these newer ships. The legend here is looking pretty, pretty old. Depending where your cruise ship docks, it can be a five to 10 minute walk along the pier into the cruise port area. As you can see here, the area is flat and they do have shuttles running back and forth.
right, let's get this walking tour in. Okay, it's nuts out here, but we're trying to find our location for our walking tour. Let's see what happens. Okay, so on the pier in NASA, if you have a tour, it's marked as zones, but they don't put the zone on your ticket. So you have to ask someone, and they have a list and they'll tell you what zone to go to. We are in zone eight, so off we go. been on an excursion in NASA? If so, leave a comment below letting us know what excursion you'd recommend. here and then back to the ship. We had our lunch, now we're making our way back to the ship. Lunch was good. It wasn't quite the environment to record too much in there, but uh, yeah, let's see what we can find along the way. on board but before we head up to our cabin here's a quick look at the music hall while all is quiet. The music hall is a two-level venue and hosts activities such as live music events, trivia, other games, comedians, and of course the nightclub after hours. Bahamas. We've got a busy schedule actually for this evening. There's quite a few things happening that we want to take in. We've got the Las Vegas Tenors. They're the headlining musical act. And then we have Spectra's Cabaret, which we've seen back in 2016 and it was amazing. So we're looking forward to seeing that again. And we need to squeeze in having some dinner. So it's now just after 5 p.m. We need to get ourselves ready and we'll try to squeeze all this in. We 
had dinner and we're off to see the Las Vegas tenors in the Royal Theater. Then we're off to another show at 270, but we'll get to that. Squeezing it all in. Las Vegas tenors in the main theater. Now we're at Spectra's Cabaret, but no video recording allowed in here. So we will see you after this. <laughs> and we enjoyed the Las Vegas tenors so much, we squeezed in their second show right after Spectra's Cabaret. And to wrap things up tonight, a few more minutes in the schooner bar with Perry Grant. I love us everyone. Well, I guess it's kind of morning by now, but we are finally wrapped up for the night and it was a really good day today. We had a relaxing day uh, for most of the morning and then we headed out for a little walking tour in NASA. We went to an Irish pub for lunch. It was pretty good. It was called Shenanigans Irish Pub, I believe. Shenanigans or it was pretty good. something. Then we made our way back to the ship and off to dinner after that in the main dining room. Yeah, and dinner was really good. The food was really good tonight. Really yeah, the new good. menu, it was the uh, Italian night. Italian and night, yeah, yes. it was really good. Then after that, we had show after show after show. We had the, what was the first one? So Las Vegas Tenors. Mm. They were great. Uh, they I were, loved it. They were an hour for the first show. Then we went to Spectra's Cabaret. Spectra so that's, Cabaret. Yeah. <laughs> that's the show in 270 at the back of the ship. Great visual effects. They have the robot screens and all this jazz, but uh, you were kind of iffy on it. Yeah, it was it was interesting, uh, but overall it was still good. I'm yeah. not going to complain about it. It was a good show. Yeah, I thought it was really good. And we enjoyed the Las Vegas tenors so much that we went back for their second show after the Spectra Cabaret. It was a different set, so it was another, basically another show by them. Uh, yeah, they were really, really good. We were super impressed. Then we went back to Schooner Bar and checked out 
Perry Grant. Yes. Again for the third night. Yeah, he's been playing every night. Uh, we catch little parts of his show as he plays three hours each night. And, and then tomorrow we are at Perfect Day at Coco K. Uh, so we're hoping just to spend some time on the beach and get some more sun. We're not doing too much else there. At least as of right now, we're not. Right. We'll see uh, what tomorrow brings. Uh, but yeah, for now, that's our day and we will see you tomorrow.